The new thing for Augusta seems to be downtown distilleries, but that new thing is really an old thing. More than a century ago, if you stepped outside in the right part of town, say around Fenwick Street at 13th, you would smell beer being brewed. You would smell the Bell of Georgia. Longtime Augusta newspaper man Earl Bell once wrote of those days. They were the days before Prohibition, when Augusta Brewing Company was going strong and Bell of Georgia was its most popular product. Other brands, such as Bell of Carolina and Dixie, were also favorites. August Schwears and Edward Herman, with the encouragement from future Mayor Patrick Walsh, brought their brewing expertise to Augusta. Their brewery operation began in February 1889 from a newly constructed plant at 13th Fenwick and Nelson Streets. In 1896, the plant had expanded and bold white letters more than 10 feet high spelled out Bell of Georgia. Behind it were stables for mules and horses that drew the delivery wagons. Older Augustans recall the big wagons drawn by large, fine horses or mighty mules that delivered beer to places in and around Augusta, Bell wrote. In 1905, the brewery expanded into soft drinks, primarily Pepsi-Cola, but then Prohibition came. On January 1st, 1908, the Georgia legislature prohibited sale or manufacture of liquors in Georgia. Statewide prohibition must not have been strongly enforced because in 1912, improvements were made to double the brewery's capacity. Two years later, $15,000 was spent on improvements to the bottling works. However, in 1913, Congress got involved, forbidding the mailing or shipping of liquor into any state banning such shipments. In 1916, Augusta Brewing Company changed its name to the Augusta Ice and Beverage Company to comply with Georgia law. Plans were announced to spend $10,000 to remodel the half a million dollar plant for the manufacture of non-alcoholic beverages like near beer. Near beer wasn't near enough. In 1921, the company filed for bankruptcy. In 1964, the old brewery was torn down and brewing in Augusta came to an end, for a while at least.